two or more patterns coming together. And that's going to give us the confluence that we're going to be looking for. And usually, as we were just you know, covering that, they're going to have relative strength or relative weakness independent of the market. And uh, these are the type of plays that I personally like taking. That's why you will always notice when I'm looking at a buy setup, when I'm looking at a breakout, I'm just not looking at that. I might be drawing my trend line, I might be looking at the candlestick patterns, I might be looking at three different things, right? Rule number one would be the pattern, right? And when I say pattern, I mean like trend line pattern, right? Second thing, how are the candlesticks inside that pattern, right? Number three, the location of that pattern, location of that setup on the daily chart. So when all these things come together, they form a super play. Like in TTS, there was a whole chapter on patterns, and there was a chapter on pattern boosters, right? So again, when you get a pattern booster inside a pattern, you got your super play right there. It's an hour yeah. one. So uh, basically what it said, two or more patterns, pattern booster, that's your super play right there. All right, and then let's go to that. So these trades can be taken out or near the market open, especially like today, we had the TCK, we had the WFM. They were pretty much pattern boosters, because we saw the WFM go down at the open, put in a green bar, and then the very next bar, it negates that green bar, that's super play, right? You got, it, you got your three bar play, you got your green bar ignored, you got your turn on bar, three things coming together, you got your super play, more chance of working than it was, right? So, again, you can take these most likely at the market open, they're gonna have relative strength or relative weakness, as opposed to the market, and uh, as we already covered, you still have to have your money management in place, just because it's a super play doesn't mean it's gonna work 100% of the time. It still has its own strategy, it still has its own results. And that's what you have to keep in mind when you're getting into that trade. And I mean, I want to repeat it because I've seen it in the past. We worked on the setup and then, you know, oh, it's a super play. So I took like uh, maybe two times my daily risk. I'm like, well, it's still another trade. You know, you can't just risk extra on that. So some of the, you know, patterns that we're going to cover in the super play is the turnaround bar. You know, with a three bar play, I mean, these are phenomenal plays. You know, when you see them, you have to be on them right away. And we're going to be covering the five setup breakout, which is called Super Curl, which is a variation, and it's not the five minute curl that I taught in the room. We're going to be covering that as well. It's a variation. You have to keep that in mind. And one minute high with the level one gap, which is AKA the one minute flash. So these are all associated with gaps, or can you see them anytime? Well, usually you can see them on any time because if you see the same pattern on a five minute chart, and it's a five minute pattern, right? If you see them at the open, you're gonna be looking at it on a one minute chart. If you see them on a two minute chart, you know, same. You see it on an hourly or the hourly? Sure. Yeah. So on, on an hourly, you're gonna find the, all these patterns in an hourly too, but you have to keep in mind then your time frame for that trade increases. If you're taking it on an hourly chart, it's probably gonna last a day, two days, right? Yeah. If you take it on a one minute chart, it's gonna last a few minutes. If you take it on a five minute chart, it's gonna last maybe an hour, right? So this you have to keep the time frame in mind when you're uh, looking at these. All right, and uh, obviously in order to maximize these trades, you must be reading level two, and I'm making decisions quickly, and I think that level two is something that Jerry will cover. Another thing to comment on that, it's more for you, Carl, as well as, these don't have to be on one minute, two minute charts. I mean, you can have this on a 15 or a 60 minute chart. The, the pattern, as we always teach, is the pattern. You have a daily chart, they don't happen as often on a daily. Um, so, I, I don't want you guys to think these are only trades that you take it. All these patterns that you're learning throughout the mentorship, they can be found in any time frame, mm -hmm. right? And my goal for you guys should be that you should actually look for them in all time frames. Even if you're not taking the trade, keep a habit of like taking a journal and writing it down. I know it's a three bar, but, you know, super play on XYZ date on this one stock and go back and look at that pattern, you know, a month from now and see how it performs. And you guys will see the difference yourself. And that will give you confidence to actually put on that trade in real time rather than, you know, paper trading it. So, there's three concepts, you know, first, in TTX we learned the turn on bar, right, it's basically a bullish developing bar, 180 reversal back up, so that's what you learned in PTS. And we also learned in PTS a three bar play, the continuation play, right, the red bar ignored. Get the green bar, get a little red bar, we break about MOH today that uh, Jay did, that was that pattern right there. Except for the red bar, which is the doji bar, right, so that was the pattern right there. And what we traded on the GILD on the first day, that was a three bar play. The win that Jerry took, that was a three bar play. However, if you see these, these are probably our favorite setups. Right? You get a red bar.
bar, get a turn on bar first, then you also get a three bar play.